My uh, drip irrigation is like, well, you can see these guys need water just after a couple of days. They're dripping, drooping. But the drip irrigation, drip, 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 man, it's saving these things. It's working. The pie a tree. Boy, these things really need water today. I have to go out and do some watering. Even this, my gosh, even this grapefruit is showing some signs of life. Drip irrigation is saving it too. Look at all those brand new leaves. Woo! Great. And the guy looked at me like I was a nut for asking about drip irrigation. Well, look what it's doing to this tangerine. It's just going everywhere. Uh, what do you call in my geodesic dome? It's a whole story, boy. When I was in grad school, Long Beach, we did a thing with Bucky Fuller. And this is my new, this is my new planter. Yeah, one inch. That's, that's, I think that thing is eight feet long, six feet long, I think, the, the metal. And then my seeds are, you know, they're making it. Like I said, millipedes, millipedes. And then I have this diatomaceous earth thing I use on everything, and all of a sudden it works on them too. So, got my greenhouse. Oh, diatomaceous earth. There it is. Buy it, use it. So I'm enjoying my. My microphone, my wireless microphone here. Okay, well, I was going to assemble, do a, you know, you know, where else do you go, but here, Home Depot, Diatomaceous Earth. Okay, a leg. And then you get a T on it. And a spacer. And another T. See how we get this organized here. You get a leg. And a, oh yeah, spacer. And then another leg. I gotta put glue. I gotta take this all apart. Put glue in everything. Okay. Kind of get this so you can see what it, you know, what I, what I'm dealing with here. It's so, and when I figured this out, I mean, you know, so easy. We got one, two, three. Oops. Those are the tops. And the spacer. So, you know, it's kind of, man, I gotta do this. All of a sudden, these things are tight. 
I'm going to have fun taking it apart to glue it. That's good. I kind of got to get them all going in the same direction, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is a trip. So like get everything on. Isn't that amazing? Everything I managed to put together is backwards. I mean, okay. Okay. Yeah. Put that one on that way. Let's see. Oh, I need four of these. I need two. I have to make two more of these. Gotta cut two more. Forgot them. Be right back. So, oh, hi. Got the. Get this. Then. I got this. Corrugated metal. Well, I can see I'm going to have fun putting it together. Not only that did I do wrong, oh god, I got it all wrong. I have to go. Oh, man. Well, uh, sheesh. Okay, well, I put it together slightly different. Now, well, I'm not even sure if it's going to stay together. I just wanted to show you how to put this, I'm going to put this in, but since it's not glued together, it's liable to come apart. There you go. But anyway, it goes like that, and then you fill it up full of soil, and then, this is, talk about, this is what I got in school in Santa Barbara, uh, out there, Santa Cruz Island, they had these fire ants, and the only way to keep the fire ants off the tables where we were sprouting plants in the greenhouse is we got this flypaper, and you just sort of put the flypaper around the legs and nobody's going to crawl up the legs. So, besides the diatomaceous earth and putting this on, I don't think I'm going to have any crawlers, but man, I 
This place is so full of bugs. Either they crawl or they fly. So, anyway, this platter is so simple. What can you say? Simple, simple. It's really am amazing to me. This coffee plant is like a new life. It's like brand new. All brand new. And you know, and I tried all kinds of things to kill bugs and what I did is I just, the water, the rain runs off this, this right here and drops right on top of this plant. And that seems to be the one thing that's, oh, I love it. Well, more to learn, huh? Of course, I'm loving my hibiscus because I cloned these when I was taking classes at City College. We cloned a bunch of kind of interesting uh, hibiscus. I got one, two, three, four plants, something like that. Here's another one of my hibiscus, another color. Yeah, I was telling a friend of mine that I moved to Oregon in 1970 because I, well, it's a long story, but anyway, this, this is, it's hot, too hot to stand on, but anyway, this is the, this is the, 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 uh, I'm going to have to stand, that's the cover for my 50 gallon barrel that I used as a fireplace. I stood it on its end and I put wood inside and cut that doorway and had the smokestack coming out the top. Anyway, that was 1971. That's what I was doing in Oregon. And I realized I'd made a big mistake. But what do you do? Anyway, 40-something years later, here I am in this wonderful... And I, hey, I can't say that I wasn't having fun for all those 40 years, so... And I'm really ready, you know, in a way I'm kind of like ready for this. Like this dome of mine is just blowing my mind and my planters. These planters are just... Planters are... Just so simple. Of course, I realize how heavy it is with all that dirt in there. And this is only one inch plastic pipe. I hope it holds. I might have to go to one and a half inch. Well, we'll see. I do realize how heavy it is. And I'm putting diatomaceous earth on everything. And those milli millipedes kills them. Kills them, kills them, kills them. Well, I got no millipedes anymore. Because they were gobbling up everything I was growing. So, there's a little bit of ginger. Anyway, yeah, got some end plates on here. Keep the, I don't know if that's a good idea. My blueberry. I've eaten two blue, I've had this thing about a year and I've gotten two blueberries so far. Oh well.